And that's how you play It's a Wonderful World. That title stinks. You really think so? I guess I don't get it. You know, I suppose it doesn't make that much sense, Emma. What's this game about anyway? Something to do with Disneyland? Nope. This is a game where you collect financiers and generals in this really weird mix of military and economic development. Maybe it should be called Empire Builder. That's already a game. It's a railroad game where you draw tracks with crayons. I guess it doesn't matter. We're playing this game. Right. In It's a Wonderful World, you're trying to develop your empire through military, business, and technology acumen. Is this a long game? It seems like there's a lot going on. Not too long. Barb says it only lasts four rounds. Right. There sure are a lot of cubes in this game. I hope I get some. Yeah, I like these red ones. Those are wilds. They're technically called Crystallium. Hey, Barb, why don't we all start with a different setup? Wait, what's going on? Did I miss out on something? Well, in the basic game, we all start with a unique empire that has a victory point condition and starting resources. Oh, I see. I'm strong in gray, black, and green, and at the end of the game, I get an extra point for all of my generals. See? My empire generates gray and yellow cubes, and at the end of the game, I get two victory points for every yellow card development in my empire. Oh, mine makes black and blue resources, and it looks like I get three victory points for each blue card. Great! So we start with these seven cards, right? Not exactly. We all get seven cards, but we draft them, right? That's right. Drafting is a game mechanism where you look at all your cards, select one, and then pass the rest of the player next to you. Like this. That's supposed to prevent too much luck. This way, a player can make the best hand for her strategy. So we pick one, and then we place it face down in front of us? Uh-huh. And we do that seven times, picking one and passing the rest. Until we've all selected seven cards. Are we ready to draft our first card? I guess. After we draft, do you think you'll be able to help me in the planning phase, Barb? No problem. Hey, that's cheating. No fair. No way, Emma. Remember, in this house, First games don't count, so just have fun. <laughs> Which card should I pick, Barb? As always, it's up to you. But your empire doesn't generate green, and so you might want to choose a card that allows you to put that blue or the two black cubes you'll generate onto that production card. I pick this one, but I don't know what other cards you have in your hand. After the card drafting phase, we'll move into the planning phase. Oh wait, I think I remember this next step. It's where we put our card into production, or we recycle it for resources. You bet! If you recycle a card, you get the bonus resource located here. But then you have to discard that card. Or you could put a card into production. Simply place the card in front of you. Then you'll try to complete the card with the necessary cubes. Like this. And then when I complete a card, I get to add it to my empire, right? Well, first, some of the cards offer a reward for completion. You'll find that here. But after you've collected the reward, you can place it into your empire. That makes it a permanent resource for the entire game. Can I add the cubes I get from recycling a card onto a card I'm producing? You bet. That's a great way to develop a card. We good to move on to the planning phase? I sure am. This phase is done simultaneously as well. I like that. Makes me feel a lot less pressure. Remember that when you recycle a card for its resource, you have to place them right onto a card in your construction area. Otherwise, leftover cubes go onto your empire card and they're transformed into reds which are wilds. Wilds sound pretty great. But don't forget, you have to trade in five cubes of any color just to get one red wild cube. I'm ready for the production phase. How's it going over there, Keegan? I'm trying to decide what to do with this card. I think you should recycle it and add the cube to that card over there. Then it will complete and you'll get to add it to your empire before we even score that resource. Yeah. I like that. Thanks, you two. So 
after we've recycled or placed cards into production, we all get goods based on the cards we've built into our empire. That's when we put cubes onto our cards. And that includes our starting resources. Yep. And it's all done in a specific order. First, we'll look at gray cubes, then we'll move on to black, to green, to yellow, and lastly, to blue. What do these pictures mean? Whoever generates the most resource of a particular type gets a bonus token. So if you got the most gray cubes, then you get that financier token. Can I gather all my cubes and then just assign them later? I'm afraid not, Keegan. You have to assign your resource cubes immediately to your production cards or they go into your general pool. Okay. I think I got it. Don't worry, Keegan. Once we played a bit, you'll get the hang of it. Well, let's evaluate our gray resources. I got two. I don't have any. And I only have one. So we all grab that number of gray cubes, right? You sure do. And we add them to our ongoing constructions? You got it. Don't forget the bonus for the most produced. That goes to Emma. You'll take a financier. Cool. A blue man. Let's move on to the black cubes. They're gonna be more people to win. And this time, Keegan wins the orange woman token, otherwise called a general. What are these for again? They can be discarded to pay for certain cards. And if you keep the token, at the end of the game, they're worth one point each, maybe more. If you complete a card like this, then your tokens will be worth more. <laughs> builds with each round. You know, I can see how I'm building my empire, card by card. Yeah, I'm really going hard on blue cards. That's where my special bonus is. I'm glad you're grasping the Civ foundations of this game. Now, in this round, we'll select a card and pass the cards in the other direction. I like that. Otherwise, Keegan over there is just gonna gobble up all the black cards before I even get a chance to see them. Gobble gobble. Another thing to keep in mind, in addition to red cubes being wild, is that some cards require specifically a red cube. Is there a penalty for not finishing a card in your production area? No real penalty other than you just don't get to score them at the end of the game. Let's reveal and plan our cards. Same as before. Let's score our gross victory points. Those, those are the big numbers in between those fronds. Then we'll add the combo victory points, which depend on the number of cards of a certain type you have. Lastly, we'll count our generals and our financiers. And I have some cards with the multiplier, so is that when I add that score? Yep. I got 46. I got 42. I got 41. Wahoo! Nice game! Yeah! Look at my empire! I really did create a wonderful world! Ugh, I still don't like that title. Oh, Emma, nobody grumps like you. That's right, Barb. I'm your grump.